All right, guys, I'm back. Right, Miku, you're not going to let yourself go back to reality. If you follow the dad in your dreams, you won't be able to come back. Mafuyu, I... Mafuyu. But I never really thought about that until now. I realized my true feelings when I saw the man in my bed. How long has it been?
Ray, there might still be some hope. Miku has gone. Has she gone to the one she longs for? Her brother? Is her decision the right one? And for me too? I don't know. Aww. Well, okay. There still may be hope. This book was left inside an old shrine not far from the Manor of Sleep. It seems to date from a time when the house was known as the Kuze House or the Engraving Shrine. It's not easy to read much of it now, but it has something to do with a ceremony of commandment. Commandment Home The chosen maiden is put into the boat of passing. The boat sways as it is sent to the Kuze Shrine. The living flesh is cut, the tattoos etched in. Pain of the holly shall be sealed within her. All her love shall be interred. Yeah, we read this before. Her attachments to this world must be broken. Piercing the soul thus concludes. Huh. Yeah, we read this as Miku. She shall continue to feel the pain of the holly for all time. This is a book written by a scholar of folklore named Akido Kashiwagi about the sleeping priestess, but the same material appears in this book as well. Legend of Song 2 After extensive research on the Mutsu lullaby, the sleeping priestess lyrics were discovered that appear to be even closer to the original. The following includes thoughts on how the song came about as well as its meaning. The sleeping priestess, first one. Sleep, child, lie in peace. Sleep, child, lie in peace. If you cry, the boat you'll ride, the last trip to the other side. Once you get there, sacred marks you'll bear. They shall be peeled off, should you fail to lie still. The words lie in peace in this version of the song seem to connote death rather than sleep. The words sacred marks may be related to the area's legend of the tattoo master. Perhaps in the original religious song, it has expressed a meaning of engraving a tattoo. The Sleeping Priestess verse 2. Sleep, child, lie in peace. Sleep, child, lie in peace. If the priestess wakes from her dream, from her endless dream, perform the rite of stakes, her limbs pinned tight, lest the doors open wide and suffering unleashed on all. After researching various oral traditions, there was found to remain here the vestiges of spirit world, faith of sending the spirits of the dead to the sea, despite the fact that the, it is in the mountains. The sea may signify the underworld. If the doors are taken as the doors to the other world, then, lest the doors open wide and suffering unleashed on all, seems to connote that if the doors to the other world open, some disaster will occur. This song may have originally related to a ceremony that protected the gate to the other world. The combination of elements such as the title, the sleeping priestess, the priestess waking, sleep, and laying to sleep just juxtaposed with the word to pin lends the meaning of priestess being aided to sleep, in other words, to be put to sleep. A sacrificial property can thus be read into the song. Following is a diagram found in regional documents, combined with the legend that seems to be based on ceremony and religion. In the center of this illustration, there is a small shrine where an engraving shrine is written. Part of the song about tattoo lends credence to the theory that the song may have been sung here. Deep in the engraving shrine, there is a vast area, the underworld, and the shrine is drawn as the boundary between the shore and the other shore. The lore accompanying the diagram is as follow. Break fresh skin, engrave the holly, impale the tattoo stake, subdue for eternity to sleep in the rift. Like the song lyrics, the lore can also be read as having the same human sacrifice like aspect of impale, subdue, and sleep. Both of the books indicated that in the rite of commandment, or the rite of the stakes, by impaling the priestess with the tattoo stake, you subdue her for eternity. 
The doors could refer to the gates of the hell, and now for some reason they have been opened. But if we can impale the priestess's limbs with the tattoo stakes, then we may be able to put her to rest. I think the tattoo stakes are some sort of special stakes. They must be somewhere in the mansion. Impale the priestess? I remember you said that he had found a tape with this song recorded on it. Did you happen to hear anything about it? A tape. It may be in his room. I'll go take a look. Alright. So, let's go take a look in his room. Poor Miku. There's an unaddressed envelope in the desk. It seems as though there's cassette tape inside. Perhaps it was sent to K. It was to be sent to K. The notebook was in the envelope. The song is thought to be the original of Northeastern Japan's lullaby, The Sleeping Priestess. It was found in a gramophone at a local university, and I had it sent to me. I listened to it, but the first and second verses are slightly different from today's Sleeping Priestess. This is thought to be due to differences in the period and area where the song was transmitted. Further, a major difference is that there's also a third verse. I have to look into it more, but it seems that the mood changes from the first two verses to the third. I wrote the lyrics as I heard them. The Sleeping Priestess, third verse. Go to the other side. Go to the other side. Cast the boat. Take a ride. Cross the rift to the other side. Further and further to the other side. It must sail bearing your tattoos and our offering of tears. The first and second verses are littered with frightening words, but the third verse is more melancholy. In particular, the ending of the song seems less like a lullaby than something sung at a funeral. Well... Just gonna check up here for good measure. Like I always do. Nope. Okay. Um, Kay, I've got the cassette if you want to listen to it with me. Maybe I have to go listen to it in my own room. I'll talk to him anyway. Kay! Yeah, I'm sorry. You handed over the cassette tape to Kay. This could be a clue. I'll examine it tonight. Was I supposed to listen to it before I gave it to him?
So there's the entire lullaby, even though it was quite scratchy. Now it is nighttime. Okay. How are you doing down there, man? He is sleeping on the couch. Do you want a pillow or anything, man? Nah. Actually, you know what? Pillows are like nothing. <laughs> you gotta no. click on them. Why not? Don't go. Bad dream. What the hell was that? Looked like somebody pushing a carriage. Well, there was nothing but that thing tonight. Mmm, that, that was scary. <laughs> Thank you. 